I'm Caleb from Means Woodshop, and today I would like you to join me in making this fancy walnut and oak microwave stand. It's a simple project. You can get it done in a day. It'll make your kitchen look fancier. It'll make you look fancier. You really need to go out in the shop and make one of these right now. So let's check it out. Okay, so one, step number one. First thing you need to do before you even set foot in the shop is you need to go get measurements of your specific microwave. Mine is 19 inches by I'd say about 13 and a quarter. So 19 by 13 and a quarter. And what we're gonna do is you pull out your phone. I know everybody in the planet has one of these. Just go to whatever little note things you got, save it, take that note in the shop with you, then use that when you go to make the stand for your microwave. Welcome back to Means Woodshop. I have selected the materials that shall be used for the microwave stand. I got this board, which is oak. I have these walnut boards. I don't know if I'll need one of them, but I've got it just in case. Ooh, I think we could probably make the top of the stand with just this one board, and then the oak is gonna provide the legs. The spider webs are freaking me out. Well, what are you doing? Let's get to work. You don't think I'll get a copyright strike for wearing this jacket, do you? Before I even make a cut on any of the material I have picked out, I want to get these nails out of this oak board. So I'm going to stand these bent ones up, just like on the pallet end table. I'm just going to try to gently tap them back through. What the hell was that? There it goes. That took some finagling. Jeez Louise! Remember those notes we took on our phone earlier? Bring them out again, because it's time to use them. Well, let's do 20 and a half. Then I'll get my speed squirt, and we'll get another one. I'll make this cut with the circular saw. Alrighty, partner, we're looking good. You don't want to glue this panel together with this big, dopey, ugly gap between there, do you? I'm just going to run these through the table saw, flush out an edge on both of them so I can glue them together and it'll be pretty seamless. Now I'm wanting these to be pretty seamless, so I'm just doing a little extra finessing with this little block plane. Okay, so a little bit of planing later and we're ready to glue up this panel. Nothing more than your basic glue up. Okay, now it's the delicate part. And that is what these are for. Kitchen! We got some goulash in there, some hamburger goulash if we're hungry. Oh, okay. Alright, here's the glue up. Okay, so while we're waiting for the top of the microwave stand to dry, I've compiled a comprehensive list of 10 things that you could do while you're waiting for wood glue to dry. 
number one. Watch YouTube videos. Mess with that old scroll saw in the corner of your shop. Contemplate life. Work on Christmas gifts, which are your real obligations instead of making a microwave stand for yourself. Smoke cigarettes like a cool guy. Look at Facebook. Make lists for videos. Watch glue dry. Observe wildlife. Clean your workbench. So, without further ado, let's get on with the project. Next step now is to remove this mess we made. And it actually would appear to me as though there's still some slightly not set glue in this. That makes me a little nervous. Remember my beer mug video? I was making the handle and I had it glued up, two boards glued up so I could get the full handle on there and I was like, oh yeah, it's been set for a while, it'll be fine. And then it completely crumbled on me. I don't want history to repeat itself, so that oak board that I showed you earlier, what I want to do with the legs is make, I guess it would be a dado, extended dado? I don't know, but I'm going to make the legs to where it's got a dado cut out and this will rest inside of the where's my speed square now, I might be able to get both legs from just this one cut off because the legs don't need to be that thick so I might just split this right down the middle for the legs let's journey to the table saw and yeah, wear your dad burn eye protection okay we we'll use the trusty miter gauge here I'm gonna go to the old standby of eyeballing it. Alright, so I've set the legs on the top of the thing. What I'm gonna do is actually where this old nail hole was. I'm gonna use that as the mark on that side. So I'll use my pen, put a line. I'm actually trying to figure out how I want to do this, so I'm wondering if I could do hit that with my jigsaw. Like, I'm gonna try one that way, and if that doesn't work, then I might try the scroll saw. And if all else fails, I'll go ahead and do what I should probably do for the best accuracy and do the table saw. But I'm gonna try the cheap way first. All right, uh, jigsaw worked, but it left that pretty whopper job. That's extra cleanup for me to do. So we're gonna try it on that and see how that works. Well, I cut the legs out using two different methods. One was cut via jigsaw, the other on the scroll saw. The one on the scroll saw actually cut the best, only I, I broke this little nub off, hopefully it, and that glue probably hasn't set yet, so I've got to be careful with it. Both methods seem to have left the surface pretty whopper jawed. I'm going to use belt sander to help straighten these up. Okay, so those legs were a pain in the ass. We're about ready for assembly, so I'm gonna get most of this glue off of here with the belt sander, and then we'll do the fine sanding with random orbit sander. Okay, the belt sander provided his invaluable service, so now we'll switch to random orbit sander. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 
putting the legs on will be simple. The weight of it on itself with a little bit of extra weight. Now you just wait for the glue to dry. Then you sand the dry glue off. Then we put a finish on it. Look who came to visit me while I'm waiting for the glue to dry. This is Chumley. He's my dad's cat. One other thing I'd like to point out that I've got to apologize for is I finished the microwave stand with a spray lacquer. I did a couple coats on there and it looks real good but my camera storage was full right when I went to record putting the finish on there. It was the end of the night so I went ahead and just put the finish on there. I apologize for not having it in the video but it was spray lacquer. Just, just spray it on there. So I really don't know what real purpose a microwave stand serves but it makes your kitchen look a little fancier it makes you look a little fancier if you enjoyed this build this video please like it if you want to share it just do it also be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell so you'll be notified whenever a new video is released you don't want to live without it okay Thank you very much for watching.